Nothing says loving like do-it-yourself solar oven pizza. Oh my goodness, this turned out good. So I'm going to share with you what I did here. I had some leftover brioche buns and some Bay's English muffin buns. Put them in these mini loaf pans. And then I put a little bit of ragu homestyle sauce on it. Hand shredded mozzarella cheese with that little contraption there. Hormel pepperoni, just sliced them in half, and I'm just sprinkling some oregano and basil on top. This pizza sauce from Ragu is just awesome. And here's this little shredder gizmo that I got. And I just got a, you know, a brick from Walmart and just cut it in half and shredded it. All right, let's put these out in the solar ovens. It's about 90 degrees outside in these ovens. The one there on the top is about 425, and the one on the right is yeah, about 375, 385. And I kind of angled it toward the sun. And I had to expand these little mini loaf pans just a little bit to get these to fit. Yep, see how it says 425 there? And I adjusted those thermos thermometers for um, what I think is the correct temperature. It's plenty hot. <laughs> Alright, after about 25 minutes, decided to check on these and they are done. If you could smell how good this oregano and basil, oh my goodness. Incredible. Kind of goes good with the Italian music, you know? Molto importante a parlare italiano tutti i giorni. <laughs> Buon appetito. Andiamo per cibo, mangiare, mangiare. <laughs> Just goofing off. It does. It really does smell good, though. All right, let's take it inside. They are a little bit. They're not crunchy, but they're crunchy on the side. But it's kind of soft in the uh, center, so you definitely have to eat it with a fork. You can probably get away with eating it by hand. But the Italians, if you've ever been there, they eat their pizza with a knife and fork. Molto delicioso. Grazie per la visione. Ciao, tutti. Ciao, ciao.